Hello, this is Thomas Applegate with CPUPoints.com, and today we are going to discuss virtual memory. Okay, um, your virtual memory is basically your your processor using your hard drive as RAM because you're you don't have enough RAM in your system, so it goes over and uses the hard drive. So, uh, virtual memory is slower, but you have lots of it well, generally. So what you do is um, to, to to change your virtual memory, you click on Start. You right click on My Computer. You left click on property. Okay, and you take note here, down here at the bottom where it says computer, it gives you all this information. And that's comma. It tells you how much memory you um you you have in your system. Okay, and then what you do is the rule of thumb is you double this. Okay, so if it says here two gigabytes of RAM, you need four gigabytes of RAM. Okay, so um so what I, what I generally do is um I take out a calculator at this point, so I click on start, I click on run. I type in CALC, I click OK, and then I type in the numbers. Okay, you gotta remember here, okay, um, you know, we're, we're, not, we're not talking about a street two gigabytes. Okay, one gigabyte is one thousand twenty-four megabytes. So you gotta you gotta keep that in mind. So so whatever you're doing, you gotta multiply it by ten twenty four if you're talking about gigabytes. Okay, um when 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 down here it talks about megabytes, it's gonna tell you straight up five hundred twelve megabytes, um, seven forty. Um, 256 I'll tell you but when it gets into gigabytes it gives you a flat it gives you a straight number so what we're going to do is we're going to type in 4 gigabytes times 10 24 and that comes up to 4096 so at 4096 um, we know it's 496 so now we go back in system properties we go into advanced we go into performance box click on settings then we click on the advanced tab we go down to virtual memory, click on change, and then in, we click on custom size, then it says your initial mega initial size of megabytes. Okay, you notice I have up here 4096. So I set for 4096 in the initial size. I set it 496 in the in the uh, maximum size. Click on set, click on OK, click on OK, click on OK one more time. And then generally it will come up and it'll say to restart your computer. If it tells you to restart your computer, you say, okay, restart start your computer. Um, you'll also probably end up with another pop-up box that will say, warning, you may have to restart. Click OK. Then OK your way out. Um, and this is it for our video on virtual memory. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to click the Contact Me link up at the top or down at the bottom. Leave a comment. Thank you and have a great day.